you guys. So right now I am in Toronto. I was in Vegas before this doing um, an event with Benefit because they were launching a bunch of new brow products that are really amazing. So there was a ton of influencers down in Vegas for that. And then I flew from Vegas to Toronto where I am right now for Gen Beauty. And then we did a meet and greet today. So I got in last night and I came in and saw my friend Alyssa from high school. And then um, today I'm flying out in about four hours. Um, and I'm going from here over to, well, I have a layover in London and then from London to France. Um, and so I'm gonna be vlogging it. My vlog from Vegas from last week when I went with Jamie I only have like half the footage for, I don't know what happened to my other SD card. I think that when my camera got broken, my other camera got broken by the way, that um, it fell on the floor and it shattered because this guy was like trying to reach around me. Anyways, long story short, it fell on the floor and it shattered and I think that when that happened, the SD card popped out because when I collected the pieces <laughs> of my camera, every, like all the like components of it were open on the side kind of thing, like the battery pack was open, the like, part where the SD card is open, so I think that it fell out there. But I'm bummed because I filmed all of New York as well, and New York was really cool because we did like, we went to the Lush Spa, we went to go see Justin Bieber live, like we did all this really cool stuff in New York, and so I was kinda like, bummed I didn't have that. But, anyway, whatever. So, yeah. I was gonna come and be like, <laughs> hey, it's still recording, so you did. What? <laughs> so it's still recording, so you did. Oh. <laughs> I I Hello, Alyssa. Hi. <laughs> uh, we got in last night and we just ate and sat in these robes <laughs> that conveniently match. Like, you just look like you're a part of this pile of bed. But I think Alyssa, so I have this hotel room booked for tonight as well, so I think Alyssa's just gonna fucking snooze. I'm going to pretend that I am Paris Hilton. <laughs> it is um, a red carpet, but it's, a, it's not principal red carpet here. The principal red carpet is just uh, 50 meters on this side. Okay, thanks for bringing me. Very pleasure. I'm so confused. I thought this was a face cloth, but it looks like a bag. I guess I'm just gonna use this as a little hand glove. I just got in um, to my hotel and um, my driver was really, really nice. He like brought me over to where the film festival like red carpet was and stuff like that just to show me. Um, but it was weird when we were driving in, uh, there was a police officer on a like motorbike and he was trying to stop us and he's yelling at my driver and my driver's like sit, talking back to him and stuff like that and then I was like, oh shit, like what's going on? Like, we weren't doing anything, like I could tell that like, we weren't doing anything, you know what I mean? But he was like aggressively like yelling at my driver and I was like, this is so weird. And then when we pulled away, he was like, oh, sorry, like the police right now are really like aggressive, especially because like you're a tourist. They could tell I was a tourist and they were like, because you're a tourist and because I'm not in a taxi cab, like I'm driving you in like a private vehicle. And so like, you know, they're worried right now about the film festival because of like what happened in Paris and stuff. And I was like, this is crazy. Like, it's so bizarre to think that like, you know, like, like not that I'm seen as a threat necessarily, but that like this cop was like upset and, and like getting angry about this person driving me around. It was, it was just weird. I was like, I wish I could speak French. My plane had a bed and I laid in it. I didn't really get that much sleep, but that's okay. I'm still, I got her, um, con? I don't know if that's how you pronounce it. I got here and I was like so shocked and amazed by how beautiful it is. And so now I'm ripped roaring and ready to go. So right now I'm just gonna get ready quickly and then I think, um, I'm gonna go meet up with Sarah from NYX and then I think after we're gonna meet up with the other girls that are coming on this trip. So I think it's Karen, I love Sarahi, uh, Desi, Tenny, I think that's it. I don't know who else is coming from the US, um, but here I am, repping Canada as per. This woman just came and brought me fruit. So this morning, I think um, we're gonna go grab breakfast quickly. I think we were all up kind of early, um, just from like jet lag and stuff. Um, so that's happening. Uh, we have to find 
floor length gowns today. So yeah. Um, and then we are going to be getting ready later and we're going to be doing like a red carpet event and like all that kind of stuff. So yeah, we're going to see how that goes. You have a fun fact for us. Fun fact. Okay. Pan. See these ships out here? These yachts are too big to fit with the yachts in the harbor. They're too prestige. They're too prestige. So they park them out here so they can drop down their boat that is small enough to fit in the harbor to transport them over here. How did you learn this? I was talking to some yacht owners over there. Uh, so basically, these boats are just stunting on everyone in cans. This time next year, that'll be us. <laughs> Cutest brunch place ever. We're about to get some crepes. I got my dress. I accidentally bought a jacket as well. Don't want to talk about it. We are about to just have some quick lunch and then go back and start getting ready for the next four hours. Oh, Canada! So I have my makeup done, obviously. Um, and now I'm just waiting for the hairstylist to get here, do my hair, check my todays. They're crazy. They're crazy. Okay, this is the final situation with the hair. I don't know. I don't know how I'm feeling about it, guys. Sarah says, I like, it. Okay. I like it. I like it. Look how chic her hair looks. I mean, That'd I wanted to. I wanted to look French. <laughs> <laughs> that was the goal. I look a uh, very eighties. Brb, moving. I just held a falcon. So <laughs> I'm on my uh, acne medication. We just got in from the. Uh, film festival and it was really really cool it was a really neat experience and I was really happy to go oh my god what is this mess I'm breaking out so badly and I think I have pink eye or something um my eye was really bothering me and then I came home and um this is the situation so tomorrow we're supposed to be doing a photo shoot with this company Dessange which is the hair company that we're here with, um, but I can't put contacts in or put makeup on my eye. So yeah. All that I'm gonna do is fall asleep and wake up and hope that for some reason my eye magically clears up. I really wish that I could stay here longer before I went to Paris because it's so stunning and I wish that I could just like sit on the beach. I'm gonna miss it so much, I love it here. I'm gonna go to bed and I'll talk to you guys in the morning. Good morning, I just got my hair washed. Today, um, we are getting to learn more about the Dessange hair care line. Um, and basically, that's who we're here for. That's who brought us out to France. Um, so they're just introducing us to the line because they're gonna be rolling out into North America over the next year. Um, they have some other products right now in Target, and then hopefully they'll be coming into Canada. My eyeball is about to fall out of my face. Um, so, I look like shit. I didn't know we were doing like a nice little presentation today and hanging out, so um, yeah, I, I strolled in late, I might add. I slept in my alarm, looking like uh, shit, and everyone else looks great, so <laughs> it's a good day. Look at this view, you guys. It's stunning. So we are heading out now. We are going to the airport, and we're going to fly to Paris. Apparently, yesterday at the airport in Cannes, there was baggage that was left unattended, and so they uh, blew it up. Good morning, you guys. So today is our first full day in Paris, and we are supposed to wake up, um, get like makeup ready. I can't because my eye is still infected, um, and I just this is someone someone from the Dessange team had gotten me a cream. Um, to put on it, but I'm just, I'm wary <laughs> to put something on that's not going to be right for it, um, especially because like I'm in a different country, all the labeling is in French, I don't know what it is, like it's just, and, and I can't go to a doctor here and be like, hey, what is this, what's going on with my eye kind of thing, yeah. <laughs> Is this what a life without free healthcare is? So anyways, we're supposed to get makeup ready and then we go to the salon, um, get our hair done, and then we're supposed to do photos all day long. This is the worst. Because <laughs> um, normally this would be really, really fun and like just cool and I'd be able to like get to take a lot of photos and do some stuff, but like I guess that I'm just feeling 
insecure because I can't do my makeup so I don't look the way that I want to look and I'm like in an unfamiliar place and like surrounded by a bunch of beauty bloggers who do look great. <laughs> Thank you. Good morning. How are you? Good morning. This place, it's uh, the place where we are very proud of because uh, this room is uh, the, the room to represent all uh, what we do in France in the, the end of the 80s. Oh. Wow. That's beautiful. The wood. It's from uh, um, uh, 87. They have on the wall a list of all the countries that they have their salons in, which is really cool. So our private room. <laughs> So this is the finished hair and outfit. I wish so badly I could put my makeup on. <laughs> so today, basically, we went to the salon, we got our hair done, and then we went for lunch with the owner's son of Dessange um, and a couple other people from L'Oreal. And um, then, my lips are really nude, I just realized I didn't put my lipstick on. And then we went around Paris and took some photos outside, um, but everyone was getting pretty tired, so we came back. I took a little nap, woke up just in the nick of time because I'm full of luck. And um, now we are heading to go to the Knicks Face Awards party in Paris, which will be really neat. So I'm gonna bring my camera and we will go. You and me, let's go. Sarah and I are shopping today, but I just remembered a fun fact that I have to tell you and Sarah. So Sarah, yeah. when Estee Lauder was a woman, she um, was trying to get people to buy her perfumes. She was trying to like be a self-made businesswoman and nobody would take her seriously. And so what she did was she went to a department store, much like one we are in right now. Yeah. And she took her perfume and she smashed it on the ground by, by accident. Um, and then when everyone started smelling it, all these women were like, where do we buy this? Where do we buy this? Yeah. And uh, she was like, mine? And that's how she started Estee Lauder. Yes way. That's genius, isn't it? Our department stores look exactly like this. Check out this bomb restaurant we're in. It's so cool. I hate to say this, but I think that having an eye infection is really decreasing my chances of finding a male lover in Paris. At first, I thought that it was pink eye, and now I just think that it's a sty, or perhaps a hybrid of the both. So yesterday we just basically shopped around and ate and stuff like that, um, and that was pretty much the end of it. I think that we <laughs> are just kind of like taking our time sleeping because we know that we have like a lot of time in Paris. Um, I still have like six more days here, minus one day where we're going to be doing um, like a meeting with L'Oreal. I am so frustrated um, by the fact that I can't understand French. I find it really like upsetting because, so when we went into the hair salon for instance, the guy that was showing us around the salon was like super, super lovely and you could tell he was really passionate about what he did but he couldn't translate properly what he was trying to say or what he was wanting to say you know um and so you can tell he's like he's just trying to tell you like how much he likes working for this brand and how much like he loves hair and, and hair products and like how passionate he is about the whole process that they do and like all this kind of stuff and you can tell but he's like he can't he's like uh, uh like and i was just like oh my god like i wish i could just understand his language i feel so bad for it, but I mean, it's impossible to know every language, obviously, but I'm like, I should have just kept up with it in school, goddammit. I feel like shit body-wise, like I just feel like I can't wait to eat properly when I get home, it's gonna be really nice, and to go back to the gym and all that kind of stuff, it's just like, there is a gym actually in this hotel, but I just like, can't be bothered, you know? It's so hard to go to the gym when you're traveling, I'm <laughs> like, it's so hard. 
my skin is uh, adequately broken out. <laughs> Nothing's changed when it comes to my traveling. So this is the Louvre and Sarah and I are about to go in and experience some world-class art. that I joined the Green Handkerchief Club because I want to be a part of it. So I kind of completed these between the ages of probably 12 and 16, most of these pieces of mine. This is my favorite statue in all of the Louvre. I always think it's really interesting to look at like statues back from then and like how realistic the bodies are compared to now. <laughs> so this is the hall where my girl Mona is at. We're gonna <laughs> pop in quickly, just say hi catch up a little bit, like see how she's been. Oh my god, so awkward when you run into your ex. It's Arrow, I can't believe she got in this painting. <laughs> oh, hey girl, you haven't changed a bit, you look great, babe.